In this video, I'll show you a simple diagnostic scenario using the PowerPro Basic. This scenario will help you to quickly diagnose electrical problems and avoid misdiagnosing or replacing unnecessary parts. Our 2004 Toyota Sequoia horn is not working. As we look at the schematic, when the horn is activated, it completes the circuit to ground and sends a horn request signal to the body control module. The body control module then sends a horn command to the horn relay. This closes the relay contacts and supplies battery voltage from the 10 amp horn fuse to the horns. Possible causes for the horns not working include the horns themselves, the horns 10 amp fuse, the horn relay, the horn switch, the body control module, and the wiring. This system may look complicated, but always remember, stick to the basics. Let's get started. Connect the PowerPro Basic to your vehicle's battery. Next, locate the horn relay. On this vehicle, it's the under the hood junction box. Remove the cover and determine which relay controls the horn. Have an assistant push the horn pad while listening to the relay. You should hear it click as the horn pad is pushed. We don't hear it clicking. Next, remove the relay to expose the relay socket terminals. We will use these terminals to test the fuse, wiring, body control module, horn switch, and the horns themselves. Referring back to the schematic, relay terminals number 1 and 3 should have battery power. This power is supplied by the 10 amp horn fuse. Let's test terminals number one and number three now using the Power Pro Basic. We'll use the blade probe with the one foot extension. As we insert the blade probe into terminal number one, we see we have power. And terminal number three also has power indicated by the red LED on the Power Pro Basic. Since we have power here, we know that the wiring and the fuse is good up to this point. Relay terminal number 5 goes directly to the horns. Let's test this terminal next. We see the green LED as we probe terminal number 5. This is an indication of continuity through the horns. Now let's supply power using the Power Pro Basic. With this test, we just eliminated the horns, horn wiring, and the horn ground. Next, we'll test terminal number 2. We should see the Power Pro Basics green LED light up when the horn pad is pressed. As we push the horn pad and release, the green LED turns on and off. Since our terminals are working and we did not hear the relay clicking when it was plugged in, we have determined that the relay is faulty. After replacing the relay with a known good relay, our horns work fine. In this video, you learned how to diagnose a simple electrical problem using the Power Pro Basic. For more information, ask your tool dealer about the Power Pro Basic or go to powerprobe.com.